नमस्ते दिस इज मॉर्ति राम सिंह वेरिक मैथ्स रिसोर्स पर्सन विजयवाड़ा नाउ आई एम कमिंग विथ ट्रिग्नामेट्रिक टेबल हाउ टू प्रिपेर ट्रिग्नामेट्रिक टेबल विदउट मेमोराइजेशन इन ए सिंपल वे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू प्रिपेर ट्रिग्नामेट्रिक टेबल फॉर टेंथ क्लास स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू प्रिपेर sin theta then we can get all the values for all the ratios first sin 0 degrees sin 30 degrees sin 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees first we have to prepare values for sin theta if we prepare values for sin theta automatically we can draw the entire trigonometric table let us start with uh, square root of 0 by 4 square root of 1 by 4 square root of 2 by 4 square root of 3 by 4 and square root of 4 by 4 if we can find out the values of these five we can draw the entire table very easily now let us check the values of these five square root of 0 is 0 square root of 4 is 2 0 by 2 is 0 now square root of 1 is 1 square root of 4 is 2 so this is 1 by 2 now cancel two table one time two times square root of 1 is 1 square root of root 2 is root 2 Now, square root of three is root three. Square root of four is two. That means this is root three by two. Now, four by four is one. Square root of one is one. So, the values of sine thirty degrees, sine sine zero degrees, thirty degrees, forty five degrees, sixty degrees, and ninety degrees are here. If we know these five, we can automatically get the values of remaining ratios. I mean, cos theta, tan theta, cosecant, secant, and cot theta. Now, <coughs> already we know the values of sine zero. One by two, one by root two, root three by two, and one. Draw an arrow mark like this, and now see how easily we can get the values of cos. Just draw an arrow mark in reverse direction. That means reverse these values, which we are writing from zero to ninety. Now take from ninety to zero and write in reverse order. One will be here. Root three by two will be here. One by root two. One by two and zero. First write sine values from left to right, and now to get the values of cos, write from right to left. First, write these values from left to right. Then we can get the values of cos theta just by reversing the order. Left to right to right to left. Now tan theta. Tan theta we get by dividing sin theta by cos theta. Zero by one is zero. Now one by two divided by root three by two. One by two. Divided by root three by two, that means one by two into two by root three. Two two cancel, so we get one by root three. So one by root three is the answer. Or simply you can cancel two and two. 
we will get 1 by root 3. Now, 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2. One time cancel. Now, root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. Root 3 by 2 into 2 by 1. 2 2 cancelled. Root 3 is the answer. So 1 by 0 is infinity. Now, cosecant theta. Cosecant theta we know that is inverse of sin theta. Inverse of sin theta. So, just we take the reciprocal of these values, we will get cosecant theta. 0 by 1, reciprocal is 1 by 0. Nothing than infinity. 1 by 2, reciprocal is 2 by 1. That is 2. 1 by root 2, reciprocal is root 2 by 1. That is root 2. Reciprocal of root 3 by 2 is 2 by root 3. And reciprocal of 1 is 1. Here also we can apply left to right to right to left formula. Cosecant theta values are here. Just put a reverse arrow mark and reverse the values from right to left. We can get secant theta. Secant theta is inverse of cos theta. Just take the reverse. 1 2 by root 3 root 2 2 and infinity. Cot theta also reciprocal of tan theta. Just put a 1 here. 0 by 1 will become 1 by 0. That is infinity. 1 by root 3 will become root 3 by 1. That is root 3. Reciprocal of 1 is 1. Reciprocal of root 3 by 1 is 1 by root 3. And the reciprocal of infinity is 0. So, like this, we can simply prepare trigonometric table. And this is very helpful for all 10th class students and all the students who are learning mathematics. Thank you.